Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. I help people with ascension, specifically twin flame ascension, twin flames, soulmates, healing, and love. Welcome to my channel. If this is new to you, if you've been exploring how to get some help, please subscribe and like to my channel, okay? In this video, let's just get started. So if you are feeling super sensitive, sensitive, overwhelmed at work, what is happening? Well, what is happening is the great resignation. Uh, what that means is a lot of people are feeling like they, quote, can't do this anymore. They're fed up. What is really happening is that the heart can't take anymore. It's time for expansion. It is quite literally time for ascension. Now, this does occur when people do something that I call kind of bite back. It's a part of gaining the dignity back. It's a part of self-identification. It's a huge part of lifting things up back where they need to be and not letting things fall apart. Now, things are going to fall apart because if nothing falls apart, it can't be rebuilt into a better structure. It's no different than the implosion of a building out in Las Vegas, where in order to do it right, you have something that's obsolete. It's not worth rebuilding. Okay. Now, what if that's your life? What if that's your workplace? What if that is aspects of you that keep you functioning, keeping you employed or your livelihood, your career. A lot of people are feeling to be an entrepreneur. You need a lot of stamina to be able to do that because what goes with it is wearing a couple of hats, especially at first. And if the structure isn't there, then it really doesn't take off properly. For a lot of people, COVID brought about this um, natural change. It wasn't really natural, but it had to be as natural as possible to change your life, change your lifestyle, work from home. And that really put people in a pickle because they were trying to figure out, how could I do this? How could I not be distracted by the internet and still get work done? Now, a lot of people did get a break. They actually got months off or away from an office. They weren't immersed in a whole bunch of people's energies. Some people never got a break. That's what's happening now. This is why people are feeling like they want to resign. They need a huge reset. This is in many ways a big reset. So if you're feeling super sensitive at work, let me give you a little scene here. Hi there. Okay, I'm checking in with you. Where are those reports that I've wanted? Well, um, yeah, I'll get those wrapped up right away. Okay, they were due a day ago, but um, sure, go ahead. And they each go away, but they each have their thoughts. My goodness, what is going on with her? She is so spacey. She seems scattered. I, I don't know what it is. Could it be hormonal? I don't know. I mean, I worked so hard and like some of the people that get hired, I just, I don't see the work ethic in them. My parents instilled such a work ethic. They worked so hard. We're from a family of real doers. I really need this to go well. This is, there's a lot of things hinging on it for the next setup of the next season. Hmm, I, I just don't know. Why is she always on me? Why is she just always trying to get on me, like needling me? It's like she has radar. She has like the exact time of knowing when to pounce. She's like a predator sometimes. I, I'm trying my best. I just, I had all these things come up and I'm feeling so overwhelmed and I just, I can't, I'm going to cry and I don't know what to do. I've had like... All these thoughts of maybe I should go do this or maybe I should go do that. And, and then I can't remember it and I don't write it down and I'm just exhausted. I'm just exhausted. I can't take it anymore. 
a little later that day. Oh, hi, how's it going? Um, yeah, I, you know, I just, I am not feeling okay. I'm not feeling okay. And like, I don't really like the way you're talking to me. I'm simply asking for something that's part of your duties. I mean, we're all pulling our weight here. We're all hired to do a job. And, um, you know, what's going on? I don't know why you're oppressing me. Well, oppressing you is putting it a little bit strongly. And by the way, um, maybe you should dress a little bit differently. What? Now you're going to talk about how I'm dressed? I'm like, I can't take it anymore. And everyone's off and running to the races and nobody knows what's happening. Because why? Because for so much time, people have little places to stow away their feelings. Not anymore. It's been ripped off. The band-aid is ripped off. It's time for change. Now, how do you do this? How do you navigate at work? How does each person who is a cog in the wheel... Okay, who are part of the gears and part of the action people. You need every person at a place in order to accomplish things. Everyone has their task. Everyone has their roles. Even if you're self-employed or thinking about it, you're going to find that there are there has to be some kind of a really good way to do stuff. Now, does this make you an empath? Does it make her an empath? Is she just, you know, way overly sensitive? What is she going through? She's going through ascension. She's going through twin flame ascension. She's getting the double whammy. She's getting the double whammy. What about her? She doesn't want to lose ground. She's ascending too in a different way. But she is feeling that she wants her life to be better, upgraded, she doesn't want to get caught up in history or ancestral things. And it's just on. It's on for almost everybody. I'm going to go out on a limb. Everybody, you're in this. So how do you know this? Do you feel vulnerable for no apparent reason? Do you feel judged? Do you feel like people are looking at you and maybe with pity or something? Are you feeling more sensitive? Do you feel that it's like disproportionate for the situation? Probably. Do you feel like everything is getting on your nerves or coming to a head? There's some kind of like weird, fast, quick, urgent energy inside you. Are you having physical sensations? Do you feel pains, pokes, needle-like sensations? Do you sometimes feel like running? Do you wonder if you have anxiety? Now, you may have anxiety, but it may not be a true anxiety. What I mean by that is there are parts of you that have to feel a certain way. Do you feel like you're having a daily breakdown? Do you feel like bursting into tears? Do you feel as though this is affecting your self-esteem, it's affecting the quality of your work, you're wondering if you have a future, you're wondering where your future is at. I can help you with this. I am leading people, I help clients with ascension, and I help them learn how to clear and open, how to navigate at work, do proper ascension-related self-care so that they can work and function. So if you're super sensitive at work, stop being an empath. Stop being someone that feels like you're taking it, taking it, taking it. Learn to do this the new way, the twin flame body way. I've created a modality to help you with these subjects because I don't want to call them issues because we can do something with that issue. We can expand you and we can diminish the issue. That is the natural occurrence of doing the work that I teach. So check it out. Look at the links below and let me know if you have a question, if you have a burning question, because a lot of people would like that personal life vision. What should I be doing? 
How should I do it? How do I go about it? Now we're getting into some therapy, right? Let me tell you there is a quicker, easier, faster way. It is through your own 5D guidance, 5D, 5D, fifth dimensional guidance to help you. It's not down there anymore. It's not in people's heads. It's not in the collective. Time to unplug and reset, reboot, and get you up and running. So if you care about yourself, if you care about having a retirement, if you care about financial independence, if you care about, you know, letting work be work and let work be something that you like and don't feel like it's a living hell, then come and join. I guarantee you, you will come out with things to do, actions to take, and by the time we end it, you will be feeling that there is a transformation going on. It doesn't help to just watch videos. Start participating in your own ascension. I do realize that a lot of people, you know, you're lurking, you're kind of looking. Stop looking, start doing. It's that simple. Time to start. Don't leave it till next year. There's a lot to talk about between now and into next year. This whole decade is going to be one of massive changes. So be a part of it. Be the change by literally being the change and changing and transforming. Thanks so much. Have a good day. See you there. Bye.